In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate sales tax and also the final price of a purchase. So let's start with this problem. Sam purchases a laptop for $499. The tax rate is 8%. How much will Sam pay in sales taxes? The first thing we need to do is convert percentage into a decimal. So what is 8% as a decimal? All you got to do is take 8 and divide it by 100. Or you can move the decimal point 2 units to the left. And this is 0 0.08. So that's 8% as a decimal. So that's step one. Step two, we need to multiply the price of the item by the tax rate in its decimal form. So we're going to multiply 499 by 0 0.08. And this will give us the amount of tax that he's going to pay. So let's use a calculator for that. So 499 times 0 0.08, this is equal to $39.92. This is the answer for part A. So that is how much Sam is going to pay in sales taxes. Now what about part B? What is the final price for this purchase? All we have to do to get the final price or the total amount that Sam is going to pay, we need to add up the price of the laptop with the sales tax. So we're going to add 499 with 39.92. And we could do this the old fashioned way. If you want, you can add two zeros here. So this is going to be 2, 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. We'll write the 8, carry over the 1. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 3, that's 13. We'll write the 3, carry over the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. So the total amount that Sam is going to pay for this laptop is $538.92. Now, before we move on to the next problem, I have a question for you, the viewer. What's like the hardest sales percentage discount problem that you've encountered in school. If you have some very difficult word problems, feel free to post it in the comment section below. Now, for those of you who do want more practice on solving problems like this with sales tax, percent percentage or percent discount, go to YouTube, type in percent word problems, organic chemistry tutor, and you'll see some other videos I have on this for those of you who want more practice problems. Now let's get back to this one. Luke buys a car selling at 24500 The sales tax rate is 7%. What is the amount of sales tax that Luke paid? So we're going to follow the same procedure. Let's convert 7% from percentage to a decimal. So all we got to do is take 7 and divide it by 100 or move the decimal two units to the left. So this is going to be 0 0.07. Now step two, we're going to multiply the original price or the price of the car by the tax rate in its decimal form. So that's going to be 24,500 we're going to multiply it by 0 0.07. So you should get $1,715. So that's how much Luke is going to spend in sales taxes. Now, part B, what is the total cost of the car? So that includes the original price and the sales tax, which is the answer for part A. So in step three, we're going to add those three things. I mean, those two things, rather. 
So it's 24,500 plus 1,715. 0 plus 5 is 5. This is going to be 1. 5 plus 7, that's 12. Carry over the 1. 1 plus 4 plus 1 is 6. And then we can bring down the 2. So the total price is $26,215. And of course, you could use your calculator to uh, verify that result. I like to double check just to make sure I have the right answer. And this is indeed the right answer. So that's how you can calculate the total cost of the car as well as the sales tax associated with the purchase. Let's work on one more problem. Karen buys a bottle of lotion selling for $5.99. The tax rate is 7.4%. She hands the store clerk a $10 bill. What is the sales tax on a bottle of lotion? Now this problem is a little bit different than the other two in that there is an extra step. But if you want to try it, feel free to pause the video. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's start with the first step. Let's convert the tax rate from a percentage to a decimal. So if we divide by 100, or if we move the decimal point two units to the left, this is going to be 0 0.074. So that's the tax rate in decimal form. Step two, we're going to multiply the original price, which is $5.99. And we're going to multiply by the tax rate of 0 0.074. Now, what I get is 0 0.44326. However, we don't really have money less than a penny. So we're going to round it to the nearest hundredth. And so the sales tax is going to be 44 cents. That's the answer for part A. That's the sales tax for purchasing this bottle of lotion. Now let's move on to part B. What is the total cost of this item? To find that, we need to add the price of the lotion and the sales tax. So we have $5.99 plus 44 cents. Nine plus four is 13. We'll write the three, carry the one. One plus nine is 10 plus four, that's 14. We'll carry the one again. Five and one is six. So we get $6.43. So that is the total cost of the item. Now, part C. How much money should the store clerk give back to Karen? So how much change should Karen, or is Karen going to receive? All we have to do is find the difference between 10 and 643. There's many ways in which you can do this. Um, you could type this in your calculator. You can perform subtraction the old way. Or you could do it mentally in your head. If you want to do it mentally, here's what I would do. I would take ten dollars and six forty three I would break it up into six dollars and forty three cents. Ten dollars minus six dollars, that's four. So what you have here is four dollars and you're subtracting it by forty three cents. Now what I like to do is I like to mentally break four into three and one. If you have a dollar and you subtract it by 43 cents, what do you get? What's 100 minus 43? Because the dollar is basically 100 cents. 100 minus 43, that's 57 cents. Or 57. And so when you add 3 and 57 cents, you get $3 and 57 cents. 
So that's a little mental subtraction for you, for those of you who are interested. But let's use the old school form of subtraction. So let's do it this way. Now, we can't really subtract 0 by 3 because we'll get a negative number. So we need to borrow a 1. Now, what you could do is view this as 100. If you borrow 1 from 100, you're going to get 99. So this will be like 9.9. .9. And the 0 becomes a 10. So now we have 10 minus 3, which is 7. 9 minus 4, which is 5. And 9 minus 6, which is 3. So we get the same answer, $3.57. But that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to calculate the sales tax. You also know how to calculate the total cost of the item and the amount of change that should be returned when making a purchase as well. Thanks for watching.